What's up YouTube? So I just finished my do-it-yourself uh, aquarium stand exhaust fan and this is my finished product. This is uh, what I'll be looking at um, over my sump pulling air out in the middle. I put three 120 millimeters uh, these Antex blue LEDs they were about 10 bucks online at amazon.com and I powered them with um, universal AC to DC adapter from Menards it's RCA this was about like 14 bucks so all together this was about $45 I think it's well worth it um, for the amount of air that it moves what's nice about this uh, voltage um, really can't see it too oh there you go the 12, 9, 7.5, 6, 4.5 and 3 now, if you actually leave it on 3, it won't start the fans. And if you leave it on 12, it won't start the fans. But they actually all do work. Um, 4.5 is like a low. Then kind of like a medium. And faster, faster, and faster, you know, all the way up to the top. Um, which is really great. It kind of gives the fans, uh, the fans a variable speed. And I was a little bit really not expecting that to happen and it turned out great so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it in the middle uh, to avoid a fire uh, from low voltage or high voltage so I'll just keep it at the middle um, here's a little bit of my test wood uh, used a hacksaw measuring tape I bought some machine screws and some wood screws marker to mark the wires electrical tape and this is how I figured out the red and blacks from the plug that it was plugged into. So, give you an example of what it looks like when it's on. I would show you um, what it sounds like when you turn on the different amps, but I don't think the phone will actually pick up the noise is that well but this is what it looks like when it's running so it's going to look uh, sitting over my sump actually like this so put the weather stripping around the sides just to ensure that the uh, air is being sealed and fresh air is being pulled from another spot than from the side of the fan so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like inside the stand so this is what it looks like inside the stand. I did remove my refugium light uh, so I can have space to build this. But as you can see, the seals, uh, the weather stripping seals, kind of ensure that no air gets in between the cracks. And I left this opening here for the MP40s and the lights to my radions to pass through and give it a little cushion and kind of seal it up a little bit more. And at the bottom. It has the same uh, weather stripping to sit on top of the sump and kind of create more of a seal. Uh, so it's pulling more heat out than just grabbing air from around the side. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. I'll shut this light off. And that's what it's going to look like. I know the refugium light kind of block it a little bit but I think I'm pretty happy I'm probably gonna buy me another three of these uh, to lay over my sump and uh, brace them together with zip ties the same way I did so I don't know let me know what you think happy reefing